Our body contains numerous crystalline structures that are fundamental to the working of our organism. We stand up straight because our body has a skeleton made up of calcium phosphate crystals. We keep our balance thanks to calcite crystals that are found in the inner ear. And we chew with teeth made of apatite microcrystals. The human body on this level is a linkage of oscillating solid and liquid crystals that form an overall energy pattern for the total body. Each organ, gland, nervous system, cell, and protein structure, even the tissue salts in the body show a level of organization with some degree of crystalline function. The human energy field exists as an array of oscillating energy points that have a layered structure and a definite symmetry and that these properties fulfill the definition of a normal crystal in material form. Our bone structure has long been recognized as a solid crystal structure with piezoelectric properties. A piezoelectric effect is the creation of an electromagnetic field pulse when a crystalline structure is physically stressed or pushed out of its normal shape. Although various esoteric traditions have implied that the pineal and pituitary glands have solid crystal structures, our skeletal bone structure is the only proven solid crystal structure in the body. As a solid crystal, it has the ability to convert vibrational energy, such as sound or light, into electromagnetic and electric energy. Crystals can absorb, store, amplify, transduce, and transmit these vibrational energies. Psychic healing energies alter the measurable electromagnetic pattern of a crystal, suggesting that subtle energies can alter the physical structure of a crystal. This suggests that subtle energies and electromagnetic energies can be converted, amplified, transduced, and transmitted by a crystal in a form of energy that has biological effects. These properties of a crystal play an important role in helping us develop a model of how the body as a complex crystalline structure. Our crystalline bone structure in general acts as an antenna for all incoming and internal body vibratory energy and information, including direct thought form energy. It resonates with all levels of nutrient energy, which is either received directly, such as music, singing, or chanting or indirectly through EMFs transferred from the chakras as they step down the incoming virtual energy that has entered the system. The brain, nervous system, and heart also give off EMFs that resonate with our bone and other crystal-like structures. The crystalline bone structure then amplifies and radiates this energy and information to the rest of the system down to the cellular and subcellular crystalline structures. This is an important way that energy and information are transferred directly to all cells throughout the body from the chakras as well as the pure cosmic energy 
brain nervous system linkage. The system is based on the fact that the cells are suspended in an extracellular matrix of macromolecular crystal-like connective tissue components. This matrix is filled with structured water which also has crystal-like properties. The water in the extracellular system and the crystal-like matrix receive the resonant energy and information. In the process of receiving the incoming energy, the electrochemical formation of this matrix structure changes. This change is then transmitted as an electric current sending energy and information throughout the whole system. This is a system that provides another pathway by which the resonating bone structure is able to send its biologically transduced vibratory information directly to the whole cellular system. Although there are other crystal-like subsystems that resonantly take in and transmit energy, the bone structure, because it is the only solid crystal in the system, remains the most transducer. Its solid state enables it to hold memory patterns more permanently as stored EMF frequencies in the bone. Bone and spine traumas in particular may be stored in the bone structure and crystal healing is often very helpful for relieving these traumas. The bones also vibrate in resonance with other vibratory sources like crystals, gems, mantras, chants, and music. We have all heard the saying, you can feel it in your bones. This helps to explain the powerful effect of religious music, like Gregorian chants. As human crystalline systems, we resonate in the total unity, harmony, and love with the pulse of the cosmos and the earth. As science reverse engineers the world and technology that exists here, think about what this is doing to life. This is why the world is so messed up. They are changing the frequencies, which is changing us and our world. We are absorbing the new energies, and it resonates and emits out from us as well. We are helping change the way the world around us functions, not because of intent, as much as the fact that we are biological crystal-based machines that aid in conducting frequencies being emitted from man-made energies. These energies differ from the original Earth resonance. If we would just ask what would love do for every situation, we may be able to change the world on a mass scale. Why love? Because it's the highest vibration possible. It is the way our spiritual higher self was intended to perform.